Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Google Scholar to trace back the development of a product or an innovation in a field by using the patent search and the related literature to that patent. Now, I wrote about this last week and included some screenshots, but this will go into a little bit more detail here. So the example I used last week is an old friend of mine who had a number of patents on archery products uh, and his company was called CS Gibbs and it was an archery company so I added the word archery to the end of my search here in Google Scholar and you can see I've included patents and articles. Now we'll do our search. And now we have a list of uh, articles and patents that include the company name and the word archery and all the products associated with it. Now what's neat about this, we'll go ahead and open this link. That takes us to this information about the patent. We can see uh, the application number, the publication date, filing date, that's actually the initial filing date, uh, fee status if the patents run out and the fee hasn't been paid it will say that it's not paid and here's an abstract and we can look through and read the entire patent application if we want to but down here at the bottom what we'll find is uh, the other patents that are cited in the application and we can go back and we can look at that so if we want to go back to let's say this patent application filed in 1968. Uh, we can go ahead and look at that and we can read more about that product and its and its patent application and again you can follow that further back to uh, previous products that were cited in the application. Now what we also see here are the non-patent citations so we see advertising and brochures here. And then we see subsequent patent applications filed by others, which reference back to this patent. Now we can go and we can look and download this whole application as a PDF if we want to. And so that's one way that we can go go and track back or trace back the development of a product or an innovation in a field. Again, here I knew the name of the patent owner. Now, other times you might not know the name of the holder of the patent. So in that case, you might want to go to Google Patents itself, which is patents.google.com, and you can include non-patent literature or you can not include that. And let's just say we want to look for innovations in archery products. Now, this is a huge list of results. So we can go in and you know, we can look for newest or oldest. You can search by date or cut things off according to a, a deadline. So if you wanted to find patents that were filed in the 1980s, you could do that. And you could go down here and you can look at filing status, uh, languages, inventors, and refine your search that way. Now, if I click on archery again, you'll see it's also now suggesting for me some subtopics within archery. That's a very big uh, field, so we can say bowstring drawing or releasing devices. And now we uh, can refine our results that way. So that's how you can use Google Scholar to track back or trace back the development of a product or innovation by using Google Scholar's patent search function. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.